Drop it. Blessed day to all of us. I'm here again to continue on guiding you for this quarter. This time, we will study about oral communication. Are you now ready to learn? Now, I want you to listen very carefully. If in case there will be some gray areas along the discussion, you can go back onto this video. But first, let's have your prayer. As we pray, Lord Jesus, teacher of all students, I entrust my learning to you. Open my mind to life-giving truths. Guide my mind, understanding, and memory to interpret and remember them correctly. Enlighten me to discover the talents you have given me. Teach me to see and use them according to your will, so that I may help spread your gospel and others may benefit from them. Assist me, Lord, so that in building my knowledge, I may also build up my spiritual life. Amen. For the teacher's prayer, Heavenly Father, enable me to teach wisdom, for I help to shape the mind. Equip me to teach with truth, for I help to shape the conscience. Encourage me, Lord, to teach with vision, for I help to shape the future. Empower me to teach with love, for I help to shape the world. Amen. The sun is up, the sky is blue, today is beautiful, and so are you. Good morning, class. Hello. Buenos dias, bonjour, how are you? Class secretary, who's absent today? None? Wow, that's perfect. Now, just be ready for our lesson for the day. Let's read and ponder these quotations. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger from proverbs 15 1 anyone from among you guys who wanted to share any idea about the verse hmm the key points here are the words soft answer and harsh word the verse means that in any conversation our words should be gentle and thoughtful to avoid serious conflict here guys we see that there are two types of speech in the Bible, the gentle speech and the harsh or unpleasant speech. Another, in business management, there are two types of people in the business community, those who produce results and those who give you reasons why they didn't, according to Peter F. Drucker. Here class, we observe the two types of people in the business sector. According to Drucker. Another in mathematics. It says here, life is a math equation. In order to gain the most, you have to know how to convert the negatives into positives. Thinkpositive.com shared to us the two types of converse, conversion in the math equation. The negatives and the positives. Another. In chemistry, it says here, love is nine parts chemistry to one part magic. So here, obviously, we observe some types of elements combined just to form the word forever. Forever. Even in poetry, let's hear it. With several different kinds of poetry to choose from, a man would decide that he would like best to an epic poet and he would set out in conscious determination on an epic poem, according to Lachelle's Abercrombie. 
Even in poetry class, uh, poetry has different kinds to choose from. One is the ancient epic poem, the ancient epic poem. And just for trivia, Calliope is the muse. So this is Calliope. Okay. He, she is the muse of epic poetry. All of the quotes has linked to our topic for today. Do you already have any hint or idea? Okay, but before that, let's have this fun activity first and we call it the word. So, here is the word puzzle. In the word puzzle, all you have to do is to look for the seven words that refer to different jobs. I'll give you a clue. These jobs usually require to deliver speeches before an audience. Try to look for them as fast as you can to lead you to the types of uh, their speeches that we'll be taking about. So without so much ado, let's do it. We have three words for vertical and four words for horizontal. Okay, now, what is the first word that you found in the upper part? Do you see that word? Very good. It is the word politician. And the word politician, okay? This is the word politician on the upper part. Okay, where it is? There, there you go. <laughs> so we jump over. So this is the word politician for the horizontal. We already uh, showcased the three vertical words, the pitcher, the lawyer, and the comedian. Okay, anyway, you will, uh, you will be needing to uh, spot it on the word puzzle still. Okay, and we have three words for the vertical. So that's it. And let's look for the word. The next word is the doctor. Very good. Okay. Okay, and the teacher is me. And of course, that is vertical, of course. What else in the horizontal? The doctor. We already have the doctor. What else? Continue looking for the other words. Class. Next is the word lawyer. We already have the lawyer there. Okay, the word comedian is already open, vertically written at the center. Okay, this is the comedian. And what else? The next word no, is at the bottom, horizontally placed. The word news anchor. Let's look at the news anchor. There's the news anchor at the bottom part. And of course, the last word is found at the seventh row at the right side. Yay! The word is the actor. We have these seven words. We, we already spotted the seven jobs and that uh, will be the examples of our topic for the day. They, they really have connection to our topic for today. Okay. So let's check. So these are the answers. The politician, of course, the doctor, and the news anchor with the actor. See, there are four horizontal words. We have three, the teacher, the comedian, and the lawyer. Yeah, and so hopefully you got all the correct answers. Congratulations. Let's have this follow-up activity. Picture with sentence completion. Okay, I want you to really observe the picture per slide. Then just try to complete the phrase to make it into a sentence by writing their purpose or reasons why they are doing speeches. You may write down, please write down your answer on your notebook. Later on, we'll check if you got all the correct answers. Let's start with the first picture. Are you ready? Hopefully, you're ready. Guys. I want you to complete this in 25 seconds. 25 seconds is already has already started. Okay? This is a, this is a teacher. So, first speech is or the call out, I give a speech to Okay? Uh, to the next picture. So, here it is a lawyer, okay, you need to complete the sentence in 25 seconds, write it on your notebook, 
for number two I gave a speech to okay just write something that comes around in your mind comes into your mind rather okay let's have the third picture so this is the third picture complete the sentence with a phrase I gave a speech to so obviously it's a clown a comedian so the phrase is I give a speech to blank so complete it still seven seconds remaining six okay. for the next picture so obviously you know this guy so this is Noli De Castro okay a former reporter and now an anchorman a successful anchorman news anchorman so the phrase is to deliver my report on television I blank okay complete it okay that's it another picture for 25 seconds to deliver my lines on stage I blank so obviously he's a stage actor okay again to deliver my lines on stage I blank Another picture for 25 seconds to complete with with a phrase at to deliver to deliver my speech during campaign I blank so obviously this is our president Mr. Rodrigo Duterte okay so deliver to deliver my speech during campaign I blank he said okay And for the last but not the least, hopefully, okay, you can uh, connect your answers with our topic. So I complete the sentence with a phrase to answer questions from my patient. I blank. So she's a doctor, obviously. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, that's it. So we have this lesson one of module six. Okay, lesson one of module six focuses on the types of speeches. Do you have any idea about the different types of speeches, the major types of speeches? For you to better understand and clarify its types, let's start with our lesson through its learning competency and its impact objectives okay so the types of the speeches so for the learning competency the learning competency is to distinguish the types of the speeches okay we have three unpack objectives for this lesson which are number one to distinguish the types of speeches according to purpose and delivery number two to determine the types of speeches used in different real life situations and three to deliver a brief but interactive and reflective and or reflective speech those are the three unpack objectives that we have for this one learning competency so these are now the two major types of speeches, number one and number two. For number one, it, it, these are the types of speech according to the purpose and the types of speech according to delivery, the two major types of speeches.
first. Let's have first the types of speech according to purpose. There are three types. We have informative or expository speech. Okay, expository speech. Expository from the root word expose, which means to share or explain information. Next is persuasive. And the third one is the entertainment speech. Hopefully, somehow, these are the keywords that you wrote in the first three pictures that I showed you in the sentence completion activity a while ago. Okay? Informative, persuasive, and entertainment. So, right now, class, I am giving you uh, the information. So, the first is the informative or expository speech. It is mainly performed to educate the audience on the new or relevant piece of information on a particular topic. For example, is the lecture of a teacher. Right now, class, uh, I'm giving you information about the types of speeches according to purpose. And of course, that is part of an informative or expository speech. Can, can you think of other examples? Hmm? Great job! News Anchor is an example. If the news anchor delivers his report or news that is, is still a part of informative or expository speech. Let's go to the next one. Okay, letter B is persuasive speech from the root word persuade. It is given solely to convince the audience to agree with the speaker's opinion on a particular topic. For example, is a speech of a lawyer. A while ago, you saw the picture of a lawyer, isn't it? I'm sure that uh, also you have an experience. You experience debate when you are in your junior high school or in your elementary years. That is another example of persuasive speech. You convince the audience to agree with your side. And next is the entertainment speech. Okay. It aims to share laughter and enjoyment with the audience through witty and humorous lines. Example is the speech of a, of a comedian, those clowns. I don't know if you are a fan of It Bulaga or Showtime or Vice Ganda. Or you're watching comedy shows, watching comedy bars before, or watching it on YouTube. Those are examples of entertainment speech. Okay, so those examples that I gave you. So those are the three types of the speech according to purpose. Okay, the informative speech, the persuasive speech, and the entertainment speech. Speech. Now let's proceed to the types of speech according to delivery. Now let's. So these are the types of speech according to delivery. It has four types actually. We have the manuscript speech, the memorized speech, the extemporaneous speech. And the impromptu speech. So, so, what are these class? Let's go ahead and try to find out each of them. Okay. So, manuscript speech. Manuscript speaking is the word for word iteration of a written message using visual aids. For example, is the news anchor with a teleprompter. A while ago, you saw the picture of Noli de Castro, a news anchor, and or a former news reporter. Okay, so they are doing this manuscript speech with their teleprompter. Okay, so this is Noli de Castro. Hopefully, this in this particular slide you answered. I read a teleprompter. And to deliver my report on television, I read a teleprompter. Alright class, another example is the son of our President Duterte. Uh, the advantage to reading a manuscript speech is 
that uh, the exact repetition of the original words however so that's the advantage however the disadvantage of this is you might lose connection to your audience since you have to look at your script from time to time so you can give 100% eye contact to your audience that's the example number two the memorized speech the rote recitation of a written message that the speakers has committed to memory okay so memorized speech the rote recitation of a written message that the speaker has committed to memory example is the actor's dialogue of course here you have to really rely on your memory I think one of the activities that you have to comply to comply with during your high school is the declamation. That's an example. The advantage of a memorized speech is that you really are connected with your audience because you have the eye-to-eye -eye contact. But the advantage, the disadvantage is when you experience mental black and forgot some words, the succeeding words. This is usually the challenge in delivering a speech like this, memorize speech. Okay. So this is the example. To deliver my lines on stage, I blank. This is an example of a memorized speech. Those theater actors. Okay, so the third one is the extemporaneous speech. They say class, okay, that the, the extemporaneous speech is the most flexible among the types of speech according to delivery. It is a presentation of a carefully planned and rehearsed speech. S speech is spoken in a conversational manner using brief notes. Example is a campaign speech before a voting public. Okay, it is also called the extempo speech. It doesn't require much time to prepare as compared to manuscript speech and memorized speech. In here, just a simple notes or brief notes will do. The advantage of this extemporaneous speech is it's gonna be flexible and you will sound conversational. While the disadvantage of this is that your organization will somehow suffer because there will be a tendency that you will talk about anything that comes into your mind while delivering this speech. So be careful with your organizational pattern while delivering this speech, extemporaneous speech. And the last one, example, the son of the president for the extemporaneous speech, I forgot. And for number four, number four, is the impromptu speech. Okay. Impromptu speech is a presentation of a short message without advanced press preparation. It is for people knowledgeable about the subject. Example is a doctor's response to the, quest, to the question of a patient. Impromptu speech is when we as a speaker, we are tasked to deliver any message at the spur of a moment. When you're asked to say a few words about something you are good at or knowledgeable about or on a special occasion. Another more appropriate example of this is the question and answer portion in pageants. Or during the open forum after a lecture or a webinar's discussion. That's an example of an impromptu speech. Okay? Okay, like the that the doctor's response to the patient's question. Okay, let's have this. Yes or no. After learning the types of speeches, the two major types of speeches, do you think you will be ready if you will be asked in the future to deliver a speech in whatever situations? If you answered yes, you really need to practice speaking before an audience or take part in, in a meaningful conversations or any speaking en engagements with proper and right practice. I know that you can do it. Okay, 
Now in this part, let's review by completing the map. You have a minute, uh, no, you have 25 seconds to supply the missing words in the boxes. Okay, so here are the boxes. Okay, for you to complete. Okay, the types of speech according to purpose with three boxes. And the types of speech according to delivery. So this one is delivery. Okay, with four boxes. Okay. So the answer key. So this is your answer key. Okay. Or the answer key on map me on your notebook. The first, uh, the types of speech according to purpose are the informative, persuasive, and entertainment. While the types of speech according to delivery, uh, of course, the manuscript, the memorized, the extemporaneous speech, and the impromptu speech. Okay, hopefully, uh, all of the answers, uh, all of your answers are correct. And so, let's proceed to the assessment. It is a notebook task. Okay, so this is a true or false activity. Directions identify whether each statement is true or false. Write your answer on your notebook. Okay, you have 100 seconds to beat per slide. Okay, you're given 100 seconds to beat the slide with 5 statements in every slide. So you really need to read, analyze, and understand them. And then write them down, your answers, on your notebook. Is that clear? That's great. Now, good luck. This is the first slide. So, here we are again. For 100 seconds, you must answer these five true or false questions. Number one, blank. The types of speech according to delivery are impromptu, speech, persuasive speech, extemporaneous speech, and manuscript speech. That is for number one. Number two, true or false, the primary goal of an informative speech is to influence the thoughts, feelings, actions, and behaviors or attitudes of your listeners according to Gamble and Gamble 2012. Or number three, true or false. Extemporaneous speech has no advanced preparation and is usually for a person knowledgeable about the subject. That is for number three. Number four, an impromptu speech is delivered with little or no time for preparation. And for number five, an expository speech provides the audience clear understanding of a concept or an idea. Now, Complete your answers for number 1 to 5. Fifteen more seconds. Last 10 seconds. Okay, so that's it. The end of 100 seconds. Let's proceed to the next bit. So number 10. You also have 100 seconds to answer these questions. Five questions. Number 6. The nature of a reporter's job is to give a persuasive speech. For number 6, true or false. Number 7. The President's State of the Nation Address or the SONA is guided by a manuscript or teleprompter. True or false? Number 8. A speaking situation can transform from one type of speech to another. In number 9. Entertainment speech is simpler than uninformative speech. For number 10. A manuscript speech may not be rehearsed anymore. 50 more seconds to go.
Okay, you still have 30 seconds to complete your answer for number 6 to 10. Last 10 seconds. And that's it for number 6 to 10. Okay, let's proceed to the last slide to our pose. Number 11. Short notes are useful in an extemporaneous speech. So number 11. For 12, a manuscript speech is used to deliver important information. Number 13, vivid descriptions are essential to an entertainment speech. Number 14, the types of speech according to purpose are informative speech, persuasive speech, and entertainment speech. For true or false. And for the last number, number 15, the credibility of a speaker is important uh, okay, in informative, persuasive, and impromptu speech. So those are the numbers 11 to 15 through or false assessment activity. We still have 47 seconds to go. Later on, we will check your answers if you got all of the 15 questions correctly for this assessment. Last 30 seconds. Last 20 seconds. We complete now your answers for number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We still have 10 seconds to go. Hoping that you will get all the correct answers. Okay. That's it. That, that ends. Uh, number 11 to 15 to our polls. The answer key. This is the answer key for your self-assessment. Hopefully, you understood the topic for the day. Congratulations for all of you who got the perfect score. Hopefully, all of you got the perfect score. Congrats! Okay. For this learning competency, you have this final individual performance. You have to deliver an interactive and full reflective speech. Just choose one from the five choices. Pref prepare and write a brief speech starting with your self-introduction, your complete name and address of course, and deliver it based on the given rubrics on the next slide. Okay, so you have five choices. Okay, just choose one. Number one is what is your final dream in life? And what do you think are the steps to successfully reach it? Number two, English is the most important academic subject to be globally competitive. Yes or no? Explain your answer briefly. Number three, explain the reason why viruses like COVID-19 exist in the world. Number four, for you, what is the importance of the statistics in research? And for number five, why Filipino Christmas celebration is the merriest Christmas in the world? Explain briefly. Just choose one for your final performance task. These are the basics in crafting and delivering your speech. Okay, the speech rounded rubrics. Delivery 20%. For the gestures and emotion, 15%. For the voice quality and articulation, 15%. For a total of 15%. No, it must be video recorded. A copy of the video must be posted on our Facebook group. Do not forget that. And actually, reminder, practice personal hygiene and protocols at all times. Thanks and Godspeed.